Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Diffused Animal. Today we are back on the map Oregon, this time attacking Dorms with the operators Maverick, Zofia, Book, Capitel, and Habana. So last time we went through an attacking strap for the basement on Oregon. This is why I've picked the same operators pretty much. All I've done is swapped Maverick in for Thatcher and Buck in for Sledge, which means you are able to use the same set of operators for both strats. Um, that's great for this map because you're never quite sure where your opponent is going to go first, upstairs or downstairs. This attacking strat for Dorms then, um, it's a master bed take. Uh, so basically we're going to start off with Maverick and Zofia, who are both going to come in and get control of Big Tower. Doesn't matter which one goes down, but I would send one person downstairs to cut off any rotations, whilst the other probably Maverick because you have his flashbangs to help you get control if there is anyone hiding up there. Obviously make sure it's droned out to begin with. Once you're in and got control, Maverick is going to come over to the wall. Whether it's soft or reinforced, it doesn't matter. Use your blowtorch to open up a vault hole. I do believe you can still... Um, make a line above and below and then shoot out the middle even if it's reinforced don't quote me on that i don't play maverick so i'm not sure this can be a little bit dodgy this vault um you want to try and make it as high as possible though um just because of the little trick we're going to do on the other side so as you can see it's dodgy even though it let me vault through one way it doesn't always let you vault through another for some reason it lets you do it easier if you have your blowtorch out i don't know so once you've opened a hole here get the other person to drone it out for you if there's anyone in there you can use your flashbangs as maverick or if you've run out of flashbangs you can even use the concussions of zofia get control of attic kill anyone who's in there make sure the other person is watching your flank and then as maverick come down to the other end making sure no one is in meeting that is the job zofia can do um, once you've got control of this she can watch meeting that's also covering your attic flank make your way to the master bedside of attic and then make a hole in the wall obviously there might already be a rotation here so if there is you don't need to do this but basically what you are doing is putting pressure on from attic side while buck and her Barna Capital will be putting pressure on from Master Bedroom itself. If there isn't already a rotation in the wall to Master Bedroom, don't worry about it. Herbana can do that for you. Just make sure you've got a line of sight. I'd make it um, above or at head height so you can still crouch below if it is reinforced and you have cover. If you come back into this spot, because you've made your hole on the west side um, of tower end, you are able you're in cover here. Um that blue shelf in unit is in the way so they will not be able to see you directly from big tower the main aim with maverick is to get control of master bedroom and attic and then set yourself up to cover the diffuser so like we said zofia will help maverick get control of big tower i'm going to open up the hole that maverick will open up um obviously i've got to do it with zofia's um impact grenade but she's going to come on the other side of that hole and then place her claymore on the inside of attic this will mean that anyone who tries to flank maverick who is in attic obviously will jump over there is unable to see the claymore and land straight in it and you have a nice easy free kill so whilst Ma maverick is doing his stuff in attic you want to be watching the flank you can do this by over the ladder you can get a nice little pixel down to anyone coming up there from meeting your secondary job as Zofia is to come over to the west window, shoot out the window um, into dorms. From here you are able to see the wall um, that is in small dorms. You can also put pressure onto big dorms if you need to. But your main job here is to use your um, impact grenades to destroy the mute jam or bandits on the wall um, from small dorms to master bedroom closet. Might be a good idea to send one or two concussion nades through here first to get rid of any ADSs. You can ask your other teammates on the other side to flashbang that for you as well. 
What you want to do out of this, remember we said Maverick needs to be careful of meeting. If so, fear comes onto the stairs of Big Tower and impacts through the top of the wall. She is able to get a nice angle through there, which will stop anyone from getting in the position underneath the ladder and getting a line of sight onto Maverick. From here, obviously, she's also covering the Big Tower flank. Zofia will continue to watch the flank of Big Tower until she gets the call out from her teammates who are pushing Master Bedroom, the ones who are going to plant right in that spot just there by the way. And then she is going to head out of the window of Big Tower across the balcony um, to the north window of Small Dorms. From here she's able to cover um, while the diffuser is being planted and of course continue to do so after the diffuser is down. Moving on to the master bed side of things then, Buck is going to start off by getting control of Armory. He's going to do this first by um, getting Habana to drone Armory out and trying to nade the person in there. Capitel will also help out with this with his flashbangs. If this is unsuccessful, you can go down into Garage. Make sure you are not going to expose yourself to anyone down below meeting or whatever. Habana can be watching this um, if you are wary of Romans down there. And obviously Buck can come underneath with his skeleton key and take out anyone who is sat in any of the corners. So basically if you have to do this with Buck you want to send Habana covering lobby um, from the double door outside. Capito outside the window of Armory where he can throw his um, flashbangs and drone out where they are exactly and give Buck that intel. So once you have control of armories, i.e. the person is dead in there, Buck can then enter and get control of that even further, secure the control, and then he's able to use his skeleton key to open up the side of the wall into Master Bedroom, again helping to get control of that. It's at this point when you want to be letting Maverick know so he can um, open up holes from Attic and put pressure on from two different angles. The only thing you need to make sure of is that Herbana or Capitel are covering that lobby flank at all times. Now if for some reason Zofia dies while getting control of Big Tower um, and there is a mute jammer or bandit batteries on the wall of small dorms, but can come underneath into classroom. Um, if you go crouch behind these filing cabinets just to take cover, if you aim at the edge of the fan, so the north side of the fan, that is basically right underneath that wall um, and you can try and take the mute jammers out that way. It is risky, make sure you have a lot of cover on lobby while you're doing that, probably from um, Capitel and Herbana if you do have to enter classroom. It's kind of a last resort, make Herbana do it, um, sorry Zofia do it in the first place. Buck really wants to be the one who's going to plant, so he's going to come in here, it will be smoked off by Capitel. You're going to plant with your back, obviously, towards the dorms, kids' dorms, and place the diffuser right in that corner. Then you can fall back towards army slash the top of the stairs and cover the diffuser from there. If Buck dies um, in the process of the plant, get Maverick from Attic um, or even Habana to quickly come and replant because you do only have Capitel with his smoke, so they will run out quite quickly. Quickly. You can open this wall if you want um, as book just to help get control of Attic if you're struggling to do so from Big Tower side and obviously Maverick will be able to use this um, hole into Attic which Habana will make if the defenders haven't already made themselves for rotation. So like we just said with Buck, Capitel is going to start off by helping him get control of Armory by droning and throwing in his flashbangs before rotating round to the double door of Lobby and basically covering the flank until you're ready to plant. Now you can do this from wherever you mostly feel comfortable. Um, there is a nice little angle you can get if you go prone down the side of the sandbags. You see less but you are in more cover um, so that's completely up to you. If you want to, you can even send Capitel here from the beginning and use Habana with her flashbangs um, to help Buck get control of Armory. That is your choice, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can also go up and help get control of Master Bed with your flashbangs from here. So after you've got control of Master Bed and Armory, Capitel is going to repel up the south window of small dorms. You can throw any remaining ADS, um, any remaining flashbangs in to destroy the ADSs um, to obviously help Zofia impact that wall from Big Tower. 
Now there's normally a rotation in the wall at the top of white stairs and when you're ready to go in and plant, Capitel can flame off both the corridor um, in front of where the diffuser is going to be or behind and then smoke off both um, the top of white stairs and the corridor and then basically just pre-fire the hell out of it while the diffuser is being planted. On second thoughts you're probably better off saving that second smoke for the corridor to cover the diffuser just in case Buck dies while trying to plant it. You cannot be seen in the planting position from the top of white stairs anyway um, so just in case Buck dies Maverick can then go in and he'll still have the smoke cover. Once the diffuser is down Capitale will stay on that window to cover anyone trying to rotate towards the diffuser. That just leaves us with Herbana then and once you've done with covering um, lobby or helping Buck get control of armory either one you want to make your way into master bedroom and once this is um, clear there's no one in here obviously you can use your flashbangs to help do this you want to head into closet and just place one Herbana charge at about head height in the wall. You don't want to make this a rotation necessarily, you can do if you really want to, but it isn't um, required. Basically you just want this for the line of sight and to make them think really that you're opening that wall to go and plant in the default plant spot. Now if the wall into attic is reinforced, obviously Maverick's made his hole in it, you can make that rotation so he is able to come in and replant or cover the diffuser if he needs to. Now, Hibana can cover the diffuser or cover the rotation towards the diffuser from Master Bedroom and that hole, and also get control, kill anyone who is in Small Dawns itself. Remember, Maverick is in Attic and he can cover it from the other side as well. You basically want to be making sure that one person out of book. Herbana or Maverick is covering the top of the lobby stairs once um, Capitel or Herbana has come off covering it from lobby itself. So it is up to you where you want to cover the diffuser from once it is down. Um, Herbana is probably the best person to go and play at the top of lobby stairs to stop anyone from flanking. You then can have Maverick if he's still alive in Attic. Remember you got Capitel on the window and hopefully Zofia outside of the north window of dorms as well. Now obviously you have to allow for one or two people dying during the round. So your three main points of cover really want to be um, your lobby stairs cover. Um, Probably someone outside the north window, they can cover the diffuser easily from there. And then the repel on the south window, i.e. the Capitao, just to cut off any rotations. As long as you've got those three positions secure, you should be able to defend the diffuser. That's it for this one then guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this one. Until next time, take it easy and give them hell.